Hi, I am Jedi Soon, I will introduce our new work, MotionSeg 3D, for efficient 3D LiDAR moving object segmentation, through the fusion of spatiotemporal information. Our work focuses on the moving object segmentation in 3D LiDAR sequences in autonomous driving scenarios. Given a LiDAR sequence as input, infer moving objects, such as moving vehicles, walking pedestrians, in the entire sequence. The ability to detect and segment moving objects in autonomous driving scenarios is important for subtasks such as static map construction, motion forecasting, collision avoidance, and path planning. Our contributions can be summarized as follows. First, we propose a dual branch structure bridged by motion-guided attention modules to better exploit the temporal motion information in residual images. Second, we use a coarse-to-fine architecture with a point head to reduce blurred artifacts on object borders. Third, our method achieves the state-of-the-art performance in LiDAR MOS on the Semantic Kitty MOS benchmark. For faster processing speed, we use range image as input, which can be obtained directly by some typical LiDARs, or by performing a cylindrical projection on the LiDAR scans. As we known, it is impossible to judge the movement of an object with a single frame, because the motion occurs in the time dimension, so how to model the time dimension is a more critical issue. We follow the residual image representation of LMNet. That is, given the scans of two consecutive frames, we first convert it to the same coordinate system by the pose, and then project them to the range view, and subtract the values of the corresponding pixels to obtain the residual map. In LMNet, the range image and residual image are connected together as multiple channels, and fed into the existing range image segmentation network structure, such as Salsa Next, RangeNet++. In our method, a two-branch structure is adopted to fuse the two modalities, from a higher feature dimension. In this way, the hidden motion information in the residual image can be well processed and modeled. The upper range image branch maintains a similar structure to Salsa Next, and then uses a slightly simpler residual image branch to extract motion features. In the process of projecting a 3D point cloud to a range image, the spatial geometric information is seriously lost, that is, points that are not adjacent and far apart in the 3D space will become adjacent pixels after projection. Next, I will briefly introduce several effective modules in our method. We use a metakernel module to calculate the weights of the convolution kernels based on the 3D distance between points. In other words, the further the distance, the lower the weight, and vice versa. This is different from the 2D convolution in which the weights of the convolution kernels are consistent and shared. Such a module makes more efficient use of 3D spatial information. To better utilize the motion information to effectively guide the appearance features, the information of the two branches is fused at different scales according to spatial attention and channel attention. To preserve descriptive features, we furthermore replace the average pooling in backbone with soft pooling, which can retain more information in the reduced activation maps. The total loss function combines both weighted cross-entropy and Lovas softmax losses. So far, we call the image-level-only network structure as ours, V1, which has been greatly improved in moving object segmentation accuracy. But the boundary blurring is unavoidable due to the limited feature maps resolution and the dimensionality reduction. This leads to false positive predictions around object boundaries. To tackle this issue, we propose a course to find strategy and use a point head to refine the segmentation results after the image branch. This two step course to find strategy makes supervision more effective and utilizes both pixel wise and point wise supervision. To this end, we backproject or re-index the feature maps of the last layer to the original points. Then, we refine point-wise segmentation results by combining this with spatial information performing a lightweight point cloud convolution operation. Here, to trade off speed and accuracy, we use a sparse convolution structure. It can be seen that we use point head for the end-to-end -end optimization, which can better handle the problem of false positive predictions around object boundaries. We train and evaluate our method on the Semantic Kitty MOS dataset, which contains 22 sequences, where 10 for training, 1 for validation, and 11 for testing. In order to enrich this field and alleviate the gap of validation and test set, we annotate 12 sequences of Kitty Road, where 6 for training and 6 for validation. Following the protocols of LMNet, to quantify the MOS performance, we report the jacket index or intersection over union, IOU, metric on moving objects. Vertically, Compared to the baseline LMNet, the addition of each module brings a significant improvement. Horizontally, PointHead can bring a higher performance improvement than KNN post-processing. KNN voting is limited by the receptive field. In contrast, PointHead is end-to-end -end trained, and the receptive field is more flexible, so it performs better than with KNN post-processing. 
As can be seen in Table 1, our method achieves significantly better performance than the state-of-the-art learning-based methods in LiDAR MOS. Ours, V1 only using the range image without KNN already outperforms most of the baseline methods and is on par with Cylinder 3D. When training with the extra kitty road, our method gains a better generalization and performance on the test set. Ours, V2 with point head achieves state-of-the-art performance with 70.16% IOU in the Semantic Kitty MOS benchmark. In addition, our method can basically meet the online running inference requirements of 10 Hz. We provide some qualitative comparisons. LMNet generates many wrong predictions on the object's borders, while point cloud-based method Cylinder 3D often misses detecting parts of the moving objects. Our method detects most points belonging to moving objects without bringing artifacts on the object's borders. Finally, we provide an intuitive video comparison. Red points are moving objects and gray points are static. For better understanding, we project the point cloud to the front camera perspective. As shown, the LMNet on the right is prone to blurred boundaries. Compared with the ground truth, our method will fail in some extremely slow motion. But there are almost no blurred boundaries. On the test set, LMNet still has many blurred boundary around objects with many ALS positive predictions. In contrast, our method segmented accurately at object boundaries. Next is the predictions in the sequence 18. LMNet produces a large number of mispredictions and blurred boundaries. Here, most of the cars are parked. Then, we provide some results on the newly annotated Kitty Road dataset. Excessive speed and occlusion are still areas for improvement, but the segmentation of most cars is still very accurate. Thanks for watching. Welcome to our project page for more information.